वेलकम डियर ऑडियंस स्टूडेंट एंड स्कॉलर हियर हम डॉक्टर रमजद अली डियर स्कॉलर सो फॉर एज वी हैव डिस्कस द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन गवर्नमेंट डेट एंड बजट डेफिसिट एंड वी हैव हाईलाइटेड द मेजरमेंट एरर्स इन बजट डेफिसिट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ केस स्टडी अकाउंटिंग फॉर ट्रबल्ड एसेट रिलीफ प्रोग्राम टी ए आर पी इंट्रोडक्शन dear scholars in 2008 many us banks found themselves in substantial trouble and the federal government put substantial tax payer funds into rescuing the financial system in our previous video we have discussed the causes of this financial crisis the ramification and the policy response but here uh, we note one particular small side effect it made reading the federal government's budget deficit more difficult okay as a part of financial rescue package called the troubled asset relief program tarp the us treasury bought prefers stock in uh, many banks In a sense, the plan worked as follows: the Treasury borrowed money, gave the money to the banks in exchange, became a part owner of those banks. In the future, the banks were expected to pay the Treasury a preferred dividend, similar to interest, and eventually to repay initial investment as well. When that repayment occurred uh, the treasury would uh, uh, relinquish uh, its ownership share in the banks okay here we have one of the main question arises uh, that is how should the government's accounting statement reflect uh, these transactions the us uh, treasury under the bush administration adopted the conventional view that these tarp expenditure uh, should be counted as current expense like any other form of spending likewise when the banks uh, repaid the treasury these funds would be counted as revenue counted for uh, in this way tarp which is stand for the trouble as relief program caused a, a surge in budget deficit when the funds were distributed to the banks but it would lead to a, a smaller deficit and perhaps a surplus in the future when repayments were received from the banks okay then the congressional uh, budget office that we call b Uh, cbo however took a different view because uh, most of the tarp expenditure were expected to be repaid the cbo thought it was wrong to record this expenditure like other forms of spending instead the cbo believed the equity investment for tarp should be recorded on a net present value basis adjusted for market risk rather than uh, on a cash basis as recorded thus far uh, by the treasury that is for this uh, particular program the cbo adopted a form of capital budgeting but it took into account the possibility that these investments would not pay off okay in this estimation every dollar spent on the tarp that we call it troubled as a relief program uh, cost the uh, taxpayer only about 25 cents if the actual cost turned out to be larger than the estimated 25 cents the cbo Uh, would uh, record uh, those additional costs later if the actual costs turned out to be less than projected the cbo would later record again for the government 
because of these differences in accounting while the TARP funds were uh, being distributed the budget deficit as estimated by the uh, Congressional Budget Office CBO was much smaller uh, than the budget deficit was reported by the US Troidy Okay, moving toward the further explanation about uh, this question, uh, when the Obama administration came into office, it adopted an accounting treatment more similar uh, to the one used by the CBO, but with a larger estimate of the cost of TARP funds. The president first budget proposal said, Estimates of the value of the financial assets required by the uh, federal government to date suggest that the government will get back approximately two-thirds of the money spent purchasing such assets. So the net cost to the government is roughly uh, 33 cents on the dollar. These transactions are typically reflected uh, in the budget at this net cost since that uh, budgetary approach best reflects their impact on the government's underlying fiscal policy. So this is all about the case study accounting for troubled asset relief program TARP. So see you with another video. Ciao.